What is Flask and what are its key features? Flask is a micro web framework written in Python. It is lightweight, flexible, and easy to use. Some of its key features include support for routing, templating, and web development tools. What is the difference between Flask and Django? Flask is a micro web framework that emphasizes simplicity and minimalism, while Django is a full stack web framework that comes with built in components for OIM, routing, templating, and more. Flask is better suited for smaller projects, while Django is better for larger, more complex projects. What is a blueprint in Flask? A blueprint is a way to organize related views, templates, and static files in a Flask application. It allows you to group functionality into reusable modules that can be mounted onto the main application. What is Flask WTF and how do you use it for form handling? Flask WTF is an extension for Flask that provides support for handling HTML forms. It includes features such as form validation, CSIF protection, and file uploads. You can use it by defining a form class and then rendering the form in a template. How do you use Flask SQL Alchemy for database management? Flask SQL Alchemy is a Flask extension that allows easy database management through SQL Alchemy. It provides a simple way to create, read, update and delete data using Python objects and SQL queries. What is Flask REST for and how do you use it for building REST APIs? Flask REST for is an extension to Flask that helps in building RESTful APIs. It provides support for input validation, authentication, and error handling. You can use Flask REST for to define resources and their methods. How does Flask integrate with Jinja 2 templating? Flask uses the Jinja 2 templating engine to render dynamic HTML content. The Flask application can be configured to use a custom Jinja 2 template directory, and the templates can be extended and overridden to create a consistent look and feel for the web application. What is Flask login and how do you use it for authentication? Flask Login is a Flask extension that provides user authentication for Flask web applications. It handles user login, logout, and session management. It uses a user model and a callback function to handle user authentication and authorization. What is Flask Migrate and how do you use it for database migrations? Flask Migrate is a Flask extension that provides database migrations for Flask web applications using SQL Alchemy. It creates and manages migration files that contain database schema changes. These migration files can be applied to a database to update the schema. How do you use Flask Socket IO for real-time communication? Flask Socket IO is a Flask extension that provides real-time communication between the server and the client using WebSockets. It can be used to create real-time chat applications, online games, and other applications that require real-time updates. It provides a simple API to handle WebSocket events and broadcast messages to multiple clients. What is Flask Caching and how do you use it for caching? Flask Caching is a Flask extension for caching. It can be used to cache the output of a view function or any other function. To use it, you need to import it and create an instance of cache with the Flask application instance. What is Flask Testing and how do you use it for unit testing? Flask testing is a Flask extension for unit testing. It provides tools for testing Flask applications, such as a test client and a set of assertions. 
To use it, you need to import it and create a test case that inherits from Flask test case. How do you use Flask Admin for building admin interfaces? Flask Admin is a Flask extension for building admin interfaces. It provides a set of pre-built views for managing data in a database. To use it, you need to import it and create a model view that defines the model to be managed. How do you use Flask Mail for sending emails in Flask applications? Flask Mail is a Flask extension for sending emails. It provides a simple interface for sending email messages. To use it, you need to import it and create an instance of mail with the Flask application instance. What is Flask Script and how do you use it for command line tasks? Flask Script is a Flask extension for command line tasks. It provides a simple way to define and run command line tasks for a Flask application. To use it, you need to import it and create a manager instance with the Flask application instance. What is Flask Security and how do you use it for security features? Flask Security is a Flask extension for security features. It provides tools for authentication, authorization, and other security-related tasks. To use it, you need to import it and create an instance of security with the Flask application instance. What is Flask IEST Plus and how do you use it for building REST APIs with documentation? Flask REST Plus is a Flask extension that simplifies the process of building REST APIs by providing features such as automatic Swagger documentation and input validation. You can use it by defining a Flask REST Plus API object and defining routes using decorators provided by the extension. What is Flask JWT and how do you use it for JSON Web Token Authentication? Flask JWT is a Flask extension that provides JWT authentication for Flask applications. You can use it by creating a JWT object with the required configuration and defining routes with decorators provided by the extension. How do you use Flask assets for managing CSS and JS assets in Flask applications? Flask assets is a Flask extension that provides an easy way to manage CSS and JS assets in Flask applications. You can use it by defining a bundle of assets and then using the bundle in your templates or routes. What is Flask COIS and how do you use it for enabling cross-origin resource sharing? Flask COIS is a Flask extension that enables cross-origin resource sharing, COIS, for Flask applications. You can use it by defining a COIS object with the required configuration and wrapping your Flask app with the COIS object. How do you use Flask Uploads for handling file uploads in Flask applications? Flask Uploads is a Flask extension that provides a simple way to handle file uploads in Flask applications. You can use it by defining an upload set object and then using it in your routes or forms. What is Flask Babel and how do you use it for internationalization and localization? Flask Babel is a Flask extension that provides internationalization, I18N, and localization, L10N, support for Flask applications. You can use it by defining translations in PO files and then using the Babel functions provided by the extension in your templates and routes. How does Flask integrate with Celery for asynchronous task processing? Flask integrates with Celery using the Flask Celery extension extension, which provides a simple interface for configuring and using Celery in Flask applications.
How do you use Flask SQL Acme Search for implementing search functionality in Flask applications? Flask SQL Alchemy Search is used for full text search in Flask applications by providing a simple way to define search indexes and perform search queries. What is Flask IEST for Swagger and how do you use it for generating Swagger documentation for Flask REST APIs? Flask IEST for Swagger is a Flask extension that automatically generates Swagger documentation for Flask REST ARPAS based on the Flask REST full framework. It provides decorators for defining Swagger documentation for API endpoints.